Back now at the Republican National Convention, we're joined by the 2008 Republican nominee for president, the senator from Arizona, John McCain. Senator, first of all, happy birthday. Thank you. Today's Thank you very your birthday. Much. Yeah, thanks. Mitt Romney has limited experience in foreign policy, and like several recent mm -hmm. presidents, he has no experience in the military. Why should he be the next commander in chief? Because he has the right instincts the way Ronald Reagan did. Uh, he understands the importance of American exceptionalism. He, ex he doesn't want to lead from behind. He wants to lead from in front. He understands the importance of free trade, uh, of uh, America's role in the world, and, uh, and uh, the rich heritage of American leadership. This president obviously leads from behind, has not even spoken a word about the people in Syria who are being massacred. I mean, remarkable lack of leadership on the part of the president. Senator, I'm going to ask you, you know sure. something about running mates and what yes. they can bring to yep. a ticket. Uh, I would say Paul Ryan is no Sarah Palin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He, he is given the job of being the attack dog. Even Democrats say they like him, even when they don't like his policies. Well, uh, can he do that? Sure. Listen, everybody liked Joe Biden, and he does a pretty good job uh, with a southern accent. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I, I'm sure that, that Paul can. But his strength is not as an attack dog. His strength is discussing the issues like Medicare, like Social Security, like the need to balance the budget, like the national debt. These issues that are really important to the future of the country, he can argue them and describe them in a way that Americans can understand. Let me just ask you this. Have the Republicans made a mistake by shifting the argument to Medicare rather than jobs? I don't think so, Bob, because every two years, every four years, we, at the end of the last couple of weeks, shows us dumping grandmother in the wheelchair over the cliff. We've had a debate now that the American people are beginning to understand. One, it's about to go broke. And two, no matter what they say, Obamacare took $761 billion out of Medicare. They cannot, <laughs> they can't conceal that. They can lie about it, but it, it's a fact in the American... So I think we needed this debate. We need a debate on the fact that Medicare is going to go broke by t in 2000. And, and we got to do something about it. Senator McCain, senior senator of Arizona and 2008 nominee of your party, thanks for being with us. Thank you, and I'm very pleased to note that I am now older than Mr. Schieffer. <laughs> <laughs> Good to have you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you.